you again! You woke me! I'm just doing a bit of light reading. I'd like to hear another story, I suppose. Not gonna happen today. Because today we're breaking into a different realm. The realm of science. You know, science is just a wonderful... Hi, it's me, Bill, not the science guy. And today I'm going to be teaching you kids about photosynthesis. Is that fun if I take over your story? Yes, yes. I'm going to give you a brief overview of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants and other autotrophs use energy from sunlight to produce sugars which cellular respiration converts into ATP, the fuel used by all living things. The conversion of unusable sunlight energy into usable chemical energy is associated with the actions of the green pigment chlorophyll. Most of the time, photosynthetic processes use water and releases the oxygen that we need to stay alive. With my two assistants, Sunny the Sun and Larry the Leaf, we will demonstrate how photosynthesis works. Sun of the sun shines light on the leaf, Larry. But to see what happens next, we have to take a closer look. This is a cross section of a leaf. On the top, there's a glossy finish called cuticle. The cuticle protects the leaf from the things that might damage it. Here we have these oval shaped structures called palisade parenchyma. Inside these are round structures called chloroplasts, which make up plant green and captures the light energy. The round structures you see here are called spongy parenchyma. In between the spongy parenchyma is air space. In some parts of the leaf, you will see this round structure called a vein or vascular bundle. What you see here is the lower epidermis, which has open spaces in the leaf that let things in and out of the leaf. These are called stomates. On each side of the stomates, are guard cells which regulate what goes in and out of the leaf. This is a model of a chloroplast. A chloroplast is made up of an inner and outer membrane. Inside the membranes is another layer called the stroma. Inside the stroma is where you find the thylakoids, which are stacks of granum. Inside of the thylakoids is a photosystem, which absorbs the light energy. Now we're going to go into depth on what photosynthesis is on a smaller scale. Photosynthesis begins in the thylakoids of a chloroplast when pigments in photosystem 2 absorb light. The light energy is absorbed by electrons, which increase the energy level. These high energy electrons are passed to the electron transport chain. Then the electrons in the thylakoids that were used in the first process are replaced by breaking up the two H2O molecules into energized electrons, positively charged hydro hydrogen ions and oxygen, and then taking the two positively charged hydrogen ions. These high energy electrons that are on the electron transport chain go to photosystem 1. The energy from the electrons is then used to transport positively charged hydrogen ions from the stroma into the inner thylakoid space. The NAPD that came from the Calvin cycle picks up the high energy electrons along with the positively charged ions from hydrogen and becomes NADPH. When electrons pass from the chlorophyll to the NADP, the inside of the membrane fills with the positively charged hydrogen ions. This makes the outside of the thylakoid membrane have a negative charge and the inside have a positive charge, thus making the energy to create ADP to ATP. This whole light dependent process uses water ADP and NADP. The ADP and the NADP come from the Calvin cycle or light independent process. What comes out of the light dependent process is ATP or NADPH. These compounds are then used in the cells as the energy to build energy containing sugars from low energy compounds. The next cycle we are going to look at is the light independent process or the Calvin cycle. This is what completes the puzzle of photosynthesis. The Kelvin cycle is named after the American scientist, Melvin Kelvin, who worked out the details of this cycle. It is also called the light independent process because, as the name implies, it doesn't need light energy to carry out the cycle. The Kelvin cycle begins in the stroma of the chloroplast, 
When six of the carbon dioxide molecules enter the cycle from the atmosphere, the carbon dioxide molecules combine with the six five carbon molecules. The result is the twelve three carbon molecules. Three carbon molecules are then converted into higher energy forms. The energy for this conversion comes from the ATP and higher energy electrons from NADPH, which came from the light dependent reaction. Two of the twelve three carbon molecules are removed from the cycle. The plant cell uses these molecules to produce sugars, lipids, amino acids, and other compounds needed for the plant to maintain homeostasis and to grow. The remaining 10 3 carbon molecules are converted back into the 6 5 carbon molecules. These molecules can then be used again to start the process over again. Six of the carbon dioxide molecules are used by the Kelvin cycle to make a 6 carbon sugar molecule. The Kelvin cycle continuously removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and makes energy rich sugars. The sugar it makes is then used as energy for the plant and to make things the plant needs like cellulose which helps make the cell wall. What photosynthesis is in a process is six water molecules, six carbon dioxide molecules yielding a sugar molecule and six oxygen molecules which eventually gives us the oxygen and energy need we need to live. Does that about cover the process of photosynthesis? Yes, yes. There is one thing missing. A grand ending. If you want to know how a plant grows, it takes water, air, and sunlight and makes cellulose. Every plant can do this. Funder And <laughs> six oxygen. One. In an equation. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Ready now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how can I even film this? He's mooning me. What photosynthesis is in a <laughs> What photosynthesis? <laughs> Oxygen molecules, which internally gives us energy we need. <laughs> Yielding a sugar molecule, six fo six. Oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!